Good morning. Today we're going to take you on a culinary adventure. Uh, we've been craving summer sausage, so we thought, why don't we try and make it in true vagabond form? So I um, had seen this recipe a while back for how to make summer sausage out of hamburger, and it's not going to be true summer sausage, but it's going to be... Sorry, <laughs> Pistol was eating her lunch. Are you done now, noisy girl? It's gonna be summer sausage like. Esque. Yeah, it's basically if you if you you just had your lunch, you're okay. She's a star though. If you think back, it's been probably three years. We made gyro meat out yes. of burger and seasonings. We made our own naan bread. Um, yeah. That was a lot of fun. It was really good. So this is kind of similar as the the gyro meat, where you take the burger. You add in some seasonings, you mix it up really well. Not like a hamburger, you don't want to mush it too much. This you want it to get mushy. Yeah. Really work it together. We're going to cover it, put it in the fridge for 24 hours, and do it again. Yeah, it's a two day event here. So the first step is we have about two and a half pounds of um, hamburger in the bowl. Now, um, it's best not to use super lean burger, which was hard for us. Like this actually needs some fat in it. So is this. Well, I was looking for 85.15, but this is 80.20, so we'll see. So we're not sure. We've never made this before, so <clears throat> we'll see how this goes with 80.20. I think some people even use fattier, but we're just trying to keep it <laughs> as lean as possible, um, <clears throat> but still have good flavor. So we're going to be adding the seasonings to this two, two and a half pounds of burger today. Um, so let's get to that. So what we'll be using today is going to be the Morton's Tinder Quick. Now, this was a little bit hard to find. We had to go to three different stores. So we finally found it. Um, we're using liquid smoke, coarse ground black pepper, mustard seed, and then some um, minced fresh garlic. To start, I think we'll need two and a half tablespoons of the Tinder Quick. Now, the recipe we have for this calls for five pounds of meat and so we're we're having it. Yeah, and then sometimes that's successful with recipes and sometimes <clears throat> it's not, but. And I don't know whose recipe it is. All I have was a, a picture of the recipe with. That's a screenshot. <laughs> yeah, so I don't know where it came from or what it's gonna be like, but we're curious. Okay, I've got it in the Morton Center quick. Okay, two and a half tablespoons. And you give me the half, right? What do you mean? <clears throat> that's cut in half. Yeah. Yes, yeah. I'm giving you the half. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so. This is one tablespoon. Yep. It calls for how much? Uh, two and a half. And you could scoot that up to half. There's well, actually, half. Oh, okay. Yep, now you're cooking like me. Okay, next up we have <clears throat> one tablespoon coarse ground pepper. I like pepper. Uh, one tablespoon minced garlic. So I'm just gonna say it's probably we like garlic. Both those, yeah. Do, do the skin on it? Yeah, why not? Okay, looking good so far. Now we need one tablespoon mustard seed. Okay. And now we need two and a half tablespoons liquid smoke. This is where the fake summer sausage comes to play. Mm -hmm. Want a drink? No thanks. <laughs> no thanks. Wow. Two and a half tablespoons or teaspoons? Table. All right. And a half. And a half. Excellent. Okay, now it's time to glove up and get to smushing. I guess I'll be the smusher. You're the smusher. How do you know when it's done? Is it smushed enough? Well, I don't think you can overdo it. Yeah. Okay, looking good. Now that goes in the bag. I took my gloves off. <laughs> I know. Whoops. You could just cover it, but I've never been in the fridge, obviously. Yeah, the, the bowl's kind of big for our fridge. It's a 
big meat log. Gross. It's pretty gross. Okay, so now the plan is this goes into the fridge for 24 hours, bring it back out. We need it again. Then we form it into like two inch logs. Into the oven it goes for some temperature for like three hours. Yeah. We'll get back to you on that. We'll meet you back here, same time, same place, tomorrow. We are back. We pulled this out of the fridge this morning and Dave is kneading it, just getting it more smushed up. I think I'll just dump it out and then I might have too much for that. Pan. Yeah. So we're going to be using this clear glass pan in our convection oven, which I have preheating right now. Um, it's going to cook at 300. That's, a, that's half a recipe. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to try to make two inch logs. I don't know how to do this. It's like Play Doh. Now, I think it did say to make sure it's tight. There's no air cracks or anything in there, otherwise, it'll fall apart during cooking. Like, you really squeeze it. Doesn't have to be perfect, but. Yes, it has to be perfect. Nothing we do is. You sure you've never done this before? <laughs> <laughs> it smells like summer sausage, actually. The liquid smoke is pretty pronounced, which is, I guess, what you want. Yeah. It's kind of big, but. I'm okay. I think we can get two in there, right? So we're gonna cook them at 300 degrees for three hours. Yes. Now we're using the convection, but I found that our camper convection is pretty similar to just a regular oven, non-convection style. So I'm just gonna go with that and um, see how this turns out. Gloves are I like the big gloves because I can get my hands in them when, they're, when it's humid, but it's making it a pain right now because it's... Yeah. Log number two. You readjusting that one? Yeah. You got a better technique down, I think. Looks, it looks legit, actually. These are looking good. We're gonna pop these in the oven, 300 degrees for three hours. Okay, one hour is up. I'm just gonna pop this open really quick and look inside. Oh my gosh. That actually looks like summer sausage. Okay, two more hours to go. Hour two is done. Let's take a look. I do have to say it's smelling so good in here. Okay, another quick peek. Ooh, boy. Summer sausage. One more hour. It's done. It's been in three hours at 300. It looks incredible. I can't wait for you to see this. This looks like silver sausage. Does it? I mean, kind <laughs> of, doesn't it? I think your imagination is good. Okay. Okay. Now, we've got this set up. <clears throat> He's going to put it on paper towel to kind of get some of that oil off of there. Pistol's gonna Aww. lend her nose. So we're gonna paper towel these meat logs. And then they get wrapped in a wax paper and tin foil. So these are wrapped in wax paper and tin foil, and now these cool on the counter until they're good enough to put in the fridge, and then they cool in the fridge. We're gonna we're gonna cool them overnight. Yeah, at least one day. Yeah, they have to be very cold. So we will, this has been a multiple day journey we're on here with the uh, summer sausage. Maybe we're bored. We'll see if, um, we'll see if the juice was worth the squeeze on this one. We'll see. <laughs> All right, we'll see you tomorrow, hang on. It's time, it's been three days. This has been torture to let this sit in the fridge this long. <laughs> they're, they're very firm like a summer sausage. <laughs> Um, okay, it feels like a summer sauce. It does. You can't make these in an RV. Oh, but you can. Oh, well, can let's we? taste it first before we start bragging. <laughs> <laughs> We've got some cheese and pickles and nuts here. And Dave's going to unwrap the summer sausage. Well, it looks.
looks like a summer sausage. It really does. Look at that. <laughs> it smells like summer sausage. I'm so excited. Are you? I am. Wow. That actually looks pretty legit. Well, visual is a large part of food. Okay, you taste. You taste first. <clears throat> okay. <laughs> yeah, it even looks like it has a smoke ring on it. It smells just like summer sausage. I'm not kidding you. Is it crazy? I like it better than most summer sausages I've had before because we cooked it so long, so much of the fat rendered out. Yeah. That it doesn't, you know, like when you eat a fatty summer sausage, you get that fat oh, yeah. taste and film. It's not there. Okay, I'm going to try it. Okay, guys, smell it. Let's see what you think. It smells just like summer sausage. Tastes just like summer sausage. But not as fatty. Not as fatty. <clears throat> Very good. I wouldn't change anything. I would like to try it with like extra lean burgers to see. I know it'd be. It'd be know, more meaty. Well, just to be, you know, a more lean snack. But mm. yeah, it's. Just, <laughs> I thought we made too much. We made summer sausage. Mmm. I got the end cut. In the camper. Oh, is that where it's at? Oh, yeah. Because it was like crispy all around. Mm hmm. I'll add a little gouda to it. <clears throat> I'll mm. go with the. Uh, this is Havarti? Mm hmm. Horseradish Havarti. Mm. Wow. My mind is blown. You really have to try this if you have some patience. <laughs> mm. We've been a little under the weather lately, so this has been a good inside away from people project. Um, I highly recommend this. I'll try and get the recipe together and get it on the website maybe at some point. <laughs> but you saw what we did. We you saw what we did. Mm. This is so good. Oh, you gotta cut more. <laughs> This is dinner. All right, coming up, we're gonna go clamming on the Oregon coast, and with any luck, maybe we'll be uh, making some clam strips or making some chowder. Chowder. Cheers. With the sausage. Carry on. Carry on. Mmm. Mmm. Thanks for watching. And a very special thank you to our patrons for supporting our channel. Join us over on Patreon for extra videos and more content. Check out our website or Amazon for our pistol book. Carry on. Carry on. <laughs>